good evening wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. The Estadio Gordragao in Porto, distinctive in so many ways by comparison with its Lisbon rivals. And here is the national anthem of Panama. some performance and now here comes the response Uruguay have gone with a 4-5-1 gym. Well, the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself, but essentially he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can, can service the penalty box and make those link-up runs from out to in. He should get plenty of support with this setup. So we're up and running. Oh, nice touch. Bentancur. Oh, that's nice. Bentancur. And that's sprayed out wide. Get it forward quickly. Well played, he saw that coming. Valverde. Out towards the flank. Back into the middle. He's had a go! Attempt. Just the wrong outcome. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work though. Chance to break. Oh, sweet feet. He's making good use of his strength there. Has a hit! It's scored! You would like a really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter attacking heaven.
Uruguay break the deadlock. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Bentancur. And he's made sure that that won't get through. And it's played forward. Uruguay are seeing a lot of the ball and have a 1-0 lead to show for it. Towering header! He still wants to get his head on that, but couldn't score. Panama can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Played in with accuracy. Offside that time. He's darted infield. Dicks one in. It's a goal kick. Forward it goes. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Hardly anything between the sides, and the score is 1-0. Sit into the middle. Up towards the front line. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. got through and that's a goal kick Uruguay are ahead here it has been a good half for them Hoists it forward, questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Valverde. Pumps it into the area. And that should be the keepers. And there's the end of the first half. There we are, off they go for half-time, the breakthroughs did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal, which is very, very tight. And we are underway again. Uruguay carrying a one-goal lead. Top from the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Valverde. Bentancur.
forward it goes. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Tries to get it forward quickly. Done very well to intervene. Bentancur. Sajid, what are you thinking? Well, it's a natural instinct to defend when ahead, but it's too early for them to settle into that practice just now. And they win it back again. Big chance! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Well, it was just some way we're passing that let the opposition in then. And I have to say, a very lucky escape. You lose it there, you expect to be punished. Played into space out wide. Looking for a corner. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Just has to be done. And it's played forward. Oh, good interception. Finds himself eased off the ball. on the right flank now what's next knocks it away <laughs> Panama have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution so who's he picking out just brushed off the ball there there's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed but will they Jimenez. Bentancur goes looking. Uruguay are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Hoist it forward. He's in, surely! This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Tries to get it forward quickly. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Forward it goes. Tries to cross. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. And time is up. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Well, Peter, I'm sure a more comfortable...